All right, guys. So I'm playing some a rip top lane, but this time I'm teaching you guys the Riven versus Cho matchup. And this matchup is very interesting because Cho has been really, really strong lately. So let me showcase. Um, in short, we have the Conqueror page. We also have Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, Longsword, and then we also have Ignites. Now, one thing that's very important to note here is that Cho is playing with Aftershock, meaning that his trades are going to be quite strong, especially because I think he has Bone Plate. So he's running uh, Aftershock and blo a Bone Plate. Let's figure out. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. So he's probably going with either Second Wind or the other one then. Either way, the way how you approach Cho'Gat right now is you want to like force the lane level one straight away. You have, um, you're definitely stronger than Cho at the start. If he starts getting level 2 and 3, he becomes incredibly annoying to deal with. Um, so we're going to try and beat him before he can spam abilities on you. Um, in terms of like Cho Q, it's very easy to predict because you can see the animation going off before it actually hits the ground. So if you have trouble predicting Qs, just look at the champion. Look at the animations very easy to tell. The second you see something different than autos, you know something is up. Good trades. So this matchup is very easy to dodge, but depending on how good show is, it's going to get harder and harder. Nearly got him. I pretended like I was walking in the edge of the brush, but then I immediately turned around and then tried out landing. Got him. Now, I'm not going to touch the wave. I'm going to reset. The reason why I'm doing it is because I want to get back. I want him to lose the wave. And I need to get my item. There you go. Now we get back. So again, guys, you don't let Cho beat you level 1, okay? You gotta try and beat him beforehand, because if he gets level 2 first, he's gonna take the, um, the lane aggro. You don't want that. You wanna keep it for yourself. Oh, actually, it's that one. Yeah, that's... You see that W ability? That's the thing about Cho, which a lot of people um, can't really deal with. Because it's really hard to dodge it. You have to actually shield it. Um, or stay away from it. And we've got the wave freezing, which is really good for Shaco. Learn from your mistakes. Uh, I think he knows. Yeah, he knows. So now we simply hold the wave for what it is. Now let's try. Got an awesome jungle. This guy is uh, camping me here when I'm freezing. That's a really, really, really good jungle play there. Um, this is what smart jungles do. If you are freezing the wave and your jungler gangs you, you can zone out the, the opponent from farming. And then that guy will fall behind. If you then farm the jungle after uh, ganking, and then you stay close to top lane, you can pressure it even more. My spirit is not lost. So now we stack the wave up. I'm not going to shove the wave. I'm going to stack it because the bigger the wave gets, the more rewarding it's going to be for me. Nice. Uh, Cho is on the way here. This is a really good jungle move, by the way. This is a really good one. Got him. I stacked the wave up like crazy, and the jungle is applying pressure exactly on, on where needed. 
Now we go for plates. Cho is going to fall really far behind from this because we took the right approach and my jungle took the right approach. Oh, it seems like we're, we have Zin Zhao up here. Nice. Now, Zin Zhao is still pressuring Shaco. So we're going to push this out. Now we go back. I'm going to build Iron Spike. And we also get a Crunch Award. This guy's got Ruby and Armor. He's got no potion. So if I trade Cho get once, he can't heal from it. Only with his passive. Okay, this is ultimate. Let's hold out the wave. I'm thinking about freezing the wave, but I'm also thinking about shuffling the wave. He's probably heading back to base now so he can purchase the steel caps. Blocking it. The best way to block the W is just by shielding it. Got him. Perfect. And now, I'm going to place a ward down right here. And we'll be... Oh, wait. That's actually Sin Zhao. Oh, I cancel my auto. He's going to beat me, probably. Maybe not. Okay. If you cancel an auto at the start, it's going to get much harder. Because you're losing a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Let's get back. Got my Gore Chinker. I'll also purchase the tier 1 boots. Alright, and we get Red Trinket. So, my next item right now is probably going to be a Black Lever because I need to get rid of Cho. And then we probably also go for Grutch. Uh, maybe we can go for Hydra, but it really depends. First, we need Black Lever before we get my uh, Hydra. Oh. Choose your own path. Hmm. And here we go. Since I was mid. Nice. Got my Gorchinger proc. It's got no mana. And if Sin Zhao comes in, I'll kill him. Oh, seems like he TPs. There's no wards here. Nice. Let's go for the jungle camp up here. Since I could be uh, coming top lane at some point. Mm, I'm not going to overextend for him. Like Joe is still up there. I'm gonna go for the red buff. Not there anymore. That we get this camp also taken. 
So we are um, we're farming between the two turrets, and at the same time we have a lot of pressure because we can go for jungle camps, we can kill Sinsao, we can go mid lane. We have a lot of choices here. I'm not going to chase Joe get down. Like I said earlier, that's not really a point for me. I, I don't mind if he wants to scale. Go ahead, have fun doing it. Got Sin Zhao. We have the jungle camp right here. We killed Sin Zhao. Now we're going back top and we take the wave. See, so yeah, pretty much the, we're playing the... We're doing the exact same stuff all over. And we got 1.8k. I think I'm gonna go back here. Maybe I'll still get this wave. Oh, he's not doing it. Okay, and now we go back top. It's going to be a very hard 1v9 game, as you can see. I'm, I'm really super farmed up. Uh, quick question. Would you say that Scorch is better than Gathering? No, not really. If you want to have a strong lane, sure, but... Uh, it really depends on what you like. Mm, I think we could probably beat him. Yep. We have 20 seconds before plates go away, so let's get a few. We'll probably get one more. No, can't make it. Uh, let's go for the camp here, because it's spawning, of course. Gotta fail that wall jump, right? Hmm, since I was gonna fall so far behind with what I'm doing. Because literally I have pressure in lane and I'm farming the jungle at the same time, so... I'm filling out like two rolls. There is the W from Vladimir. And he is also dead. I'm gonna go back top lane and get back to my roll. I think I'll take the whole thing. Nice. I'm pretending like I'm backing out, but I'm not. Three point two K gold. Yeah. Got 
got on. I'll take the farm in mid, then I go back. Wait, random Draven? Wait. Is that how I die? Wait, serious? Okay. Yep, let's go back again. Really, Draven is the only uh, only guy that can potentially beat me with NASA slow, but then again, I got like 3.9k. That's good Black Weaver. We also get a Hydra. If I have Flash, I will literally delete Draven completely from 100 to 0. No ultimate needed, I think. Draven might show here. He knows. See you later. And also dead. Yeah, I lost my flash, which I was supposed to keep for Draven, but I don't care to be honest. Also blue. That Sin Zhao is so useless now because I've been farming his jungle camps for decades. And we also farm this side. If we farm the camp here, we can then go back. But yeah, we currently have five level lead over the jungle because that's how many camps we've been stealing. Red buff. Get a Hydra. After Hydra, we go for. I want to go Grudge and Chainsword. I think I'll get. Uh, I want to go Grudge first. So, yeah, let's go Grudge. Bro, you make you make Rift look so easy and OP, but when you play her, you go own ten. I mean, that's just. Part of practicing, man. Yep. All team fights a win. Uh, Drake spawns in a 50 seconds. Just chill. I'm gonna farm the jungle camps. Got it.
There's one more wave approaching here, which I would have farmed. Whoops. <laughs> Should have done my jump. The Vladimir was probably looking at the map somewhere and he didn't see me, I guess. I guess he's alive. Ooh, nice. Yep, let's go back. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting my crutch now. I need this stuff. So, yeah, now all we need is that one final item. Definitely a chain sword because I need healing reduction. Oh, you're dead. I got perma slow now, so. Oh, they go for Surrender. Hey, either way, this is Riffin Top into Cho, playing it perfectly. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.